Are you tired of spending hours writing essays, trying to find the right sources, structure your arguments, and meet all those academic requirements, only to realize your citations are a mess or you're completely stuck? Guys, what if I told you there's a tool that does most of the heavy lifting for you and it does way better than ChatGPT? Hi everyone, Andy here from Mr. Yoohoo, and in today's video, we're diving into a full review and walkthrough of Textero AI, a platform designed specifically for academic writing. Don't know if you guys know, but I was ducks of my high school and I received a university scholarship. So I know how important it is to write great essays. This tool, well, honestly, it might be the most helpful AI writing tool I've ever tested. So I'm very excited to bring you this review. So today, here's what we're gonna cover. I'll walk you through exactly how TextDuro works, from signing up to writing your first paper. We'll test how it performs with a real essay and a full research paper. Show you how to upload your own sources, user citation generator, summarize, summarizer, paraphraser, and even check for plagiarism and AI detection. And at the end, guys, I'll give you my honest verdict, whether I'd personally use this tool or not. So now let's talk about what makes Textero so powerful. Unlike general tools like ChatGPT that often give you surface level answers or hallucinated citations, Textero is trained on 15 million real academic essays and uses 250 million verified academic sources. It even supports up to 20,000 words per document, meaning it can help you write full length essays, theses, and literary reviews with structure and consistency all the way through. Textero builds content based on your own uploaded sources, like PDFs or even URLs, and creates a semantic map of your documents to ensure everything it writes fits your specific to topic. That context and awareness makes a huge difference. You also get verified in-text citations, so you're never guessing if a reference is legit. Everything is built right into the platform, from APA and MLA formatting to reference tracking and bibliography creation. Now let's jump into the demo so I can show you guys exactly how it works. As you can see online, now we're gonna enter a topic now. I'm in Manila at the moment, and I'm very excited about Manila history and what it's done, so I wanna create an essay on the impact World War II actually had on Manila turning to the city it is today. Um, I've spent a lot of time traveling around intramuros, for example, so I wanna see kind of how that works just out of interest. So as you can see, I'm putting instructions here, create an essay on how the destruction of World War II caused Manila to become the city it is today. Now the great thing with Textero is you can put the prompts and actually can do all the work for you. So you can see there a bit about how the city's being recreated and talk about things, but about the massive impacts, overcrowding, etc., compared to other cities. So I wanna create say four pages. I wanna make it a bit longer. Um, I want Textero to find external sources as well. So we press generate and leave it there. So it takes around four minutes, which is not long to create the article. Um, you can see it's been created. So there's 1161 words there. So we tick on it. Um, and as you can see, here is the document. Now, doesn't that look good? So you get impact of World War II Manila's infrastructure, reconstruction efforts post-war, uh, a bit about positive developments. And you can see we've also got the citations there as well. And there's the references down below as well. So it really has given the real core of an essay there, which I think is great. Now you can go and click in there. You can add more information. So you can do headings or extra text or you can use the AI writer as well. So go on there, press AI writer, and it creates more text for us. So do I look, look at that? That looks quite good, so I accept that. Um, and as you can see, you can build it out. Now, you've got other commands on there. So what you can do is basically go through a document now and change and adapt it. So you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. Uh, you can see that I've just expanded it out by quite a bit, and it kind of goes through now. Very, very good structure to the essay. It reads quite well. Um, and again, you can keep on adding different information in there as you want. So it looks quite good. Now you've got things on, on citation generator there. So you can add some citations to it by using this, by searching web pages or other ways. Um, you can also find other topics. So say we want to go to something else. We can go in here and get ideas similar to our essay. So we click on there. Um, what's the ideas for that essay we spoke about? So there you are, there's some suggestions that you can use. Uh, very good. Now I'm going there, clicking on the citations. As you can see, it brings up the full information of citations. So you can see that these are actually relevant citations. They actually work. Um, again, very good. I mean, to create this by yourself, could you imagine how long it would take? Um, and you're not using ChatGPT either, which is great because that quite often just gives you loads of stuff. Now, 
We're checking here AI generator. So it, tech, it goes through what amount of content is AI generated. You see 71.32% likely AI. So guys, we may want to go in there and actually start to change some of this text around a little bit to reduce that. Um, good thing is highly likely AI zero, but I'm going to copy that um, and rewrite it. So I can hopefully get that highly likely AI score down. Um, now let's go and look at paraphrases. So this, got different ways we can paraphrase the document. Copy it in here, press paraphrase, um, and as you can see, it gives different information there for it. So it paraphrases it nicely. We can do a summary. So click a summarizer, and it gives us bullet points. Um, as you can see, so many different tools you can use on here. Again, citation generator. Um, here we can grade the essay. So it can actually give us a score before we submit this. And um, as you can see, there's the scores just there. Um, 75 integration knowledge, not bad. Topic focus, depth of discussion, um, cohesiveness. So you can see these are all different things that people look at when grading a research paper or grading an essay. And you could use this just on your own to evaluate what you've actually done yourself. Uh, if we go to Grammar Checker 2, this shows you where there may be mistakes in grammar. Um, as you can see, it's highlighted a few there. If you're happy with them, click on the ones you agree with, press uh, correct, and it does it automatically for you as well. Signing up is fast and free. Once you're in, the dashboard is clean and super intuitive. You can choose to start a new essay, a literal review, or even use the built-in AI tools like AI Homework Helper, Essay Extender, and Paragraph Expander, which is great. Guys, I'm gonna create a document now. I'm gonna actually show you how to actually create it and walk through each of the steps in full detail. As you can see, the result was well organized, clearly written, and properly cited. It even used contextual embeddings and vector search behind the scenes to avoid irrelevant or inaccurate suggestions. You can also expand or rephrase individual paragraphs, fix grammar, or ask the AI to continue your thoughts, all with a click. So Textero is brilliant for researchers who want to streamline literary reviews and professionals writing business reports, proposals, or technical documentation. The AI understands tone and structure, offering clear suggestions that actually match your intent. Something most other platforms, guys, just don't get right. Now, I'll be honest, the tool works almost too well for students. You could technically use it to write an entire paper with just a few clicks. But personally, I believe in using this kind of tool to support your thinking, not replacing it. Original thought still matters. But having Textero in your corner can speed up your process, help you avoid writer's block, and polish your final result. It's no surprise that Textero has earned five stars on Google, 4.6 on SiteJabber, and over one million users already using it to write better and faster. Whether you're a student trying to pass a major assignment, a researcher writing next paper, or a professional putting together a big presentation, Textero takes your ride to the next level. So what's the verdict? For me, it's a big yes. After testing it on an essay and research paper, Textero passed with flying colors. The citations are on point, the grammar is clean, and the structure is academic. You still need to bring your ideas, but Textero makes the rest way easier. As you guys saw, I created my own essay, I checked it against AI, I managed to, I could adapt it, add citations, it all worked so well. And I wish I had this when I was in high school, it might have made it a lot easier. But then again, other people might have caught up to me at school. Let me know in comments if you tried an AI writing tool before, or if you plan to give Textero a go. And hey, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss future reviews. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.